copy of what's being said here on the broadcast. And uh, if you look over at the bench, uh, Mr. Paul Gagne seems uh, pretty surprised by what's going on. Uh, basically, Mike, they're paying respects here to uh, Paul Gagne, are they not? They are. Uh, as Ted just announced, and I, and I think it's the first time I've heard it publicly, that uh, Paul Gagne uh, has uh, decided to retire after this year. Will not be with the Tennis Rock next year. And uh, as you know, uh, he's been around. Uh, yeah, starting off with uh, current captain Jordan Rendo. He brought uh, Mr. Paul Gagne out to center stage. And now we're seeing uh, what I believe is his daughter Martina come out. No, that's actually his wife Brenda. Okay, yeah. yeah. My eyesight. Yeah, I, and uh, Nick Houghton, an alternate captain here, bringing some flowers to, uh, to Brenda. I think it was. We were thinking it was 2000, it might have been 2001, but either way, it's been a long time. Yeah. And that, with them coming here 2015, yeah, we're looking at 13, 14, possibly 15 seasons. Now, this is a surprise. This is his daughter. I believe he hasn't seen her in a while. She lives in, down in southern Ontario and made the trip up for her dad. Evan Ware is number 10. Another face-off one here, Mike. And it's those face-offs that are all important. Nick Houghton with a very innocent shot. Uh, basically just trickled in off somebody. Looks like Parnell. And it made its way in the back of the net. Yeah, right in front of the net. And the uh, puck kind of just dribbled in. Things that get on. I don't think it was very delayed, but uh, wherever the case may be, referee put his foot down. Away we go. McClellan sends that out. Face-off will be deep in the rock zone to the right of Rogers. Oh, we have a fight. Down in the corner. That's Captain uh, Rendell. I can't see who he's fighting against. All-star appearances. Four Stanley Cups and recently named... NHL's 100 greatest players of all time. Sprague with the puck here now. Back to the game. Nice little pass for Houghton. What a great little play there. Beautiful backhand saucer pass to the defenseman who came in back door. Nobody's expecting that defenseman to come in. Houghton and Johnny on the spot. We got a 3-2 game. 3-2 game. Because uh, being hosted by, uh, by Sudbury and so the second place team gets in as well, and that would be the North Bay Trappers. Cardell to Gazic. Gazic! An innocent play there. Hard fought by the Parnell Shankar Cunningham line. Get that puck to the front. And Hawks is not completely over there with his full body. He only had the pad. Somehow that puck trickled in. Well, I think there was a little love. Made the difference in the outcome of this game. A little individual effort by Rubin to get that into the zone, but Cunningham is able to seize that away, and he sends it off to Shankar. Shankar all alone, what a beautiful move! And the hometown crowd is happy as they just won a game in overtime. What a beautiful pass and a beautiful finish by Shankar, young 17 year old. Comes through for them and uh, scores a winning goal in overtime. The uh, Eskies uh, played a great game. I think uh, they're going to be a little disappointed going back to their dressing room here with a loss tonight. But uh, shows you a little bit of the heart that uh, that's in the uh, Timmins Rock this uh, auger as well for playoff uh, their playoff run, which starts in a week. Uh, 